Sally was nineteen years old. She had always lived with her parents, but now the time had come for her to go to university in another part of the country to study to be a doctor. Her mother was very sad about this, and she was also afraid because she loved her daughter very much, and she thought, my little girl will be alone for the first time in her life. She won't know anybody. There will be nobody to look after her, and perhaps she will have trouble, or she will be very sad because she isn't with us. Sally said goodbye to her father and to her cat and promised to telephone every week. Then her mother took her to the university by train. When they said goodbye, her mother cried. And on the way back home, she cried again. Then every week, Sally kept her promise and telephoned. They talked for several minutes, and Sally was always very happy and never said that she missed her parents. Her mother was not glad about this. She thought, perhaps she's finding the university nicer than her home. But then some holidays were getting near. That week, when Sally telephoned her parents, she said, The students who live here were talking yesterday evening, and they said, we are very happy that we're going to return home again soon for a few days. Sally's mother was very glad that the students had said this. She must really miss us, she thought. Then she said, And did you say that too? Oh, yes, Sally answered. We all said that it's easy to speak to our parents on the telephone every week when we're away, but we really miss our pets. Unit 3 